So history is famously written by the winners, and it's also written by the people with access to pen and paper and the technology to use it. The main actors uh, in uh, Brown's story, some of them are, of course, colonial officials, but he also tells the story from the standpoint of people like Tacky, who led the revolt, who were not literate, who did not leave surviving records, and were, of course, not winners. And by using digital sources, uh, by reading between the lines of the written sources that survive, he's able to bring the reader into the mindsets, into the imaginative world of Tacky and the uh, revolt's leaders, and, and let us see how this looked to them. Uh, it's really, uh, it's, it's a new perspective, and it's a it's hugely important perspective, again, both for professional historians and for the general reader. This is a masterful use of cartography to connect the dots, to connect the people and places on our geographic and mental maps to broaden and deepen our understanding of the links between an African, a European and an American history that is being re-examined and reflected upon with even greater urgency today. And in looking at the individuals on all sides who made this history, we meet Taki and Opongo and Simon, as well as women like Mary and Aqua, individuals who played crucial roles in this crucial sweep of history. On a vitally important topic, the history of enslavement, this book provides the reader with perfectly judged analysis and vivid detail. This book moves between West Africa and the Caribbean, between the micro and the macro, between military history and commercial and diasporic history with ease. In this sense, it gives us a sweep of history whilst also keeping a focus on particular events such as Taki's Revolt. If you pick up this book thinking that you're just reading about a slave rebellion in Jamaica, you will miss what's really extraordinary about this story. Um, this is a book that integrates the history of warfare in West Africa, um, the history of British attitudes to colonialism and to slavery. Uh, it brings together stories from all over the world and uses them to explain this one series of events, and it shows the events from perspectives that we aren't used to seeing. Um, it will make you think differently about the history of slavery, about the history of colonialism, um, and even about the history of Africa.